Hello everyone and welcome to YMCA of San Francisco's Youth Classes for All. My name is Alex and today I'm going to be guiding you through a really awesome Halloween arts and craft activity. Today we're going to be making some Halloween masks using some recycled materials and art materials that we have right at home. So for today's activity you will need either a thick piece of paper or um, a recycle box. So today I'm using a recycled piece of popcorn box that I have that's really that's a little thicker that I can use to kind of make my mask today and then you'll need some string to make the mask tie around your head some scissors and some paint today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bat mask so I'm going to be using black paint some yellow paint and maybe some white paint you'll need a container for your paint and some paint brushes today. And to attach your string, you can either poke some holes or use some tape or some glue. And you'll need a Sharpie or a black marker to outline everything that we're going to be doing today. Feel free to follow along with me um, and do the activity along with me, or you can do this at late. Ugh. Why? Feel free to follow along with me today or to just watch with me and do the activity on your own time. All right, let's get started. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make a bat mask. So I'm gonna take one sheet of my cut up cardboard, and we're gonna make sure it's a sheet that's big enough to cover the top half of our face, which this one is. I have a smaller head, so this might be a perfect size for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna outline the, the main face part of my mask. I'm going to be using this side to make some bat wings at the end. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Sharpie and I want to outline a mask with a little bit of some ears or some small ears at the top and some space for my eyes. So what I'm going to do is first draw one triangle shape without the bottom of the triangle to make one ear for my bat. And it doesn't have to be big. We're going to make a little triangle and we're going to make a line connecting that one triangle to another triangle on the right side. So I'm going to make another ear shape on the other side. So right now it kind of looks like cat ears, but once we add in those bat wings, it's going to look more and more like a bat when we get closer to the end. All right, so to make sure that it fits our face, I'm going to make a kind of cheek shape or a curve shape on each side. And to give some space for a nose, I'm going to kind of curve it right in the middle and bring it back down to kind of make that shape right there. All right, so the fun part begins is trying to figure out how to make it wide enough for our eyes. So what I like to do is I will just kind of measure how far away my eyes are and kind of place that same distance right on top of that, of that paper. So I'm just gonna make an X or a circle where my eyes will be so I know where to cut out some spots. So that's about where my eyes are. And they don't have to be perfect because you're gonna cut out a bigger hole. So where those dots that I made, I'm gonna make kind of some a shape for my eyes to be seen through. So a little circle or oval shape on each side. So we don't have to worry about that part. All right, so before we do anything else, I think I'm going to paint it first so that it's easier to cut out at the end. So I'm gonna take my black paint. Since bats are normally black, they can come in different colors too. So if you wanna be a purple bat today, you can be a purple bat. I'm gonna be a classic black bat. I'm gonna dip into my paint and go ahead and paint in that whole space with the black paint that you have. If you wanna make yours into a cat, you can use the same template 
and just put in some pink into the ears or maybe add some extra whiskers at the end. So I'm just painting. You don't have to paint where the eye circles are, where you have outlined where you're gonna cut, so you don't need to paint on there. It's okay if you get paint on that part too. We're just gonna cut it out later. So make sure you fill in all that cardboard space. My mask might turn out to look like a little bit of a cat bat, and that's okay too. So we can make our own creatures today if we want to. Since it's Halloween, it's time to, to make up our own kind of characters that we want to be. All right, so once that is filled in with your black paint, you can leave that off to the side until we're ready to cut it out. We're gonna let it dry a little bit. If you're using acrylic paint, acrylic paint likes to dry really fast. So while we're do waiting for that to dry a little bit, I'm going to be tracing out my bat wings. So this might be a little challenging, so you can take your time, but just make sure you have enough space on each, on your cardboard piece to fit two bat wings. So the way that I'm gonna make sure I have enough space is I'm gonna kind of divide up my cardboard sheet into a half so that I know where each bat wing is going to be drawn on so that it fits on both sides. If you have more cardboard, you can make your bat wings even bigger. But today I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller so that they're not too big on our mask. So we don't need to worry about the bat body. We're just gonna worry about making some wings. So the way I'm gonna do that is taking my marker again to outline. I'm going to draw kind of like a half circle or a smiley face like that at the top. And I'm going to bring it to a point and then make another one that kind of stretches out even longer going down across that cardboard sheet that I have. And then I'm gonna make a final one that kind of stops halfway to make a point the end. So it kind of makes a loop, loop, half loop all the way across. So what I'm going to do now is mimic that same, that same design but just at the bottom. So right underneath I'm going to make an upside down loop, so a loop that's going in the opposite direction. And I'm going to bring that point again. And then I'm going to do Another one here, right at the bottom. And then the way that I'm gonna end my bat wings is I'm gonna give it a point on the side and connect them like that. If you don't like the shape that you outlined originally, you can always go back and cover it up or paint whatever you, what you don't want to have on your bat, on your bat wing. All right, so that looks pretty cool. I'm actually, going to try to copy that same shape, but if you don't want to do that, here's an easy way so you don't have to try to make it look the same. And we might need, actually we're going to have to make one, actually yeah, here we go. I'm going to cut it in half, cut that cardboard sheet in half so that I have my wing here. And before we paint it, I'm actually going to cut it out. like that. So I actually made mine a little skinnier than I wanted it to, so I just cut around that line. And what I'm going to do is put those scraps off to the side, and I'm going to take that same outline that I made and copy it on the other on the other piece of cardboard. So I'm going to trace that shape that I just cut out on the other piece. So that way we have matching sized bat wings. So I have that outline and I have my other bat wings so they're going to be the same size and I'm going to cut that one out too. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is paint those just like we did our mask. 
You can add some flux of yellow in there if you want to, too, or outline some of your wings with yellow. So I think I might do that a little bit here, too. So taking another, a different brush and putting some yellow in here, I'm gonna outline the edges of my bat wings with some yellow to go over where that outline is. And then if you have a piece of scrap paper, you can put that underneath so you don't paint your table. And I'm gonna add a little bit of an edge around each of my wings. And it's okay if you kind of go over into your wing a little too much. You can always go over that with some black paint. So I'm starting to make a little yellow outline on my wing. All right, I'm gonna match that same thing on the other wing that I have. I've seen people make bats that are purple or pink or blue. So feel free to be creative with this and make it your own and make it unique to you and what you like, what colors you like, what designs you might like. So I'm painting a little bit on my table, but I'm gonna clean that up. All right, so I have an outline of yellow on each of my bat wings. And then the final thing I'm going to do is fill in the blank space on that on those wings with some black paint. So I'm gonna go around those yellow. Edges that I painted. And make sure I fill in nice and thick with the black paint. So if you might have gone over, it's okay, you can just Cover up wherever you made a mistake to, or you just keep going. I went over a little bit on my yellow, but it's still gonna have a cool effect. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other wing to match. So I have two bat wings with some yellow outlining. I'm gonna put those off to the side to dry before we attach them to our mask. So we're gonna put those there. Put the paint to the side because we're done using paint unless we add any more details towards the end. And then what we're going to do next, although it might be a little wet still, we're gonna cut out our mask. So we have our mask cut out and we have some extra scraps to put off to the side as well. So we have that mask. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out our eyes. So carefully, we're going to kind of bend our mask a little bit so we can kind of get some grip with our pencil, I mean, with our scissors. And we're gonna kind of fold it a little bit so you can start to cut into the eye part of your mask. So it might bend it a little bit, but you can bend it right back. And so you now made a little snip in the eye, so being very careful to poke through one part of your scissors, so that way you can start cutting out the circles for your eyes. And you may need to go back in and cut a little bit more if your eyes are bigger or if you need more space to see. But we cut out one eye and we're gonna do the same thing on the other one. So snipping it, bending it back poking through really carefully and cutting out the circle of the next eye. All right, so I'm gonna put that scrap away and we should have a mask that fits our eyes. So if you wanted to be a cat, you can stop right there or wait for that paint to dry and add some white whiskers in or some pink to your ears. But since I want to make a bat today, I'm going to add my bat wings to the back side of this mask. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's dry enough so that I can lay it on the other side. I might even use a little bit of this cardboard here to lay it flat. And I'm going to flip over my mask so that the painted side is facing down. And I'm going to take each wing that I want to attach. And we're going to make sure that the wings are kind of matching a little bit. They can look a little different when we add them on there, but that's okay. 
And we're going to attach these little pieces right here to the back side of our mask. So what you can do, since to make it easier, I'm gonna use some tape today. You can use glue. I'm gonna take a little bit of tape. And it's not, since it's on the back, no one's going to see this. So you can take the, the wing and on the left side, just lay this part of it to the back of our mask and tape it down with some tape or glue it down with some glue. So that way you have one wing attached. We're gonna do the same thing, just like we taped that back right there. Do the same thing with the other wing. And attach it right across from the other wing on the other side. And then you have your bat wings attached to your mask. So now you just turned what looked like a cat mask now into a definite bat mask. So what you can do next, there's a couple options. You can add a popsicle stick to the back bottom of your mask if you want to just hold your mask up instead of having it attached with a string or you can poke some holes in the sides and attach some string to your mask. But there you go, that's how you make I'm gonna bring it up closer. This is how you make a bat mask at home with some recycled materials that you can find right in your pantry and right in your art supply box. Thank you all so much for joining me today in making our Halloween themed masks. If you would like to join me for more virtual classes, you can go to ymcasf.org and click on our youth and family virtual classes. We hope to see you all there. Bye. <laughs>Did you know that YMCA of San Francisco never closed? When shelter in place happened, we could no longer provide in-person programming. We quickly shifted to provide youth and family programming virtually. As early as April, we started providing on-demand activities in our YMCA of San Francisco YouTube channel. For this video, we're gonna be making a geodesic dome. Today, we're going to be making a hovercraft. The science around this activity is really awesome. In addition, we have a regular schedule of activities for our youth and families to join live. We feature read-alouds, yoga, family Zumba, arts and crafts, drawing clubs, and more. So don't miss out on our virtual youth and family offerings. Visit www.ymcasf.org for more info and class schedules.